What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new deep fried tarantula meal prep meals <laughs> prep meals of uh deep fried tarantulas one on one box you get a leg and the other one you get the other leg and so on and so forth uh a budget meal so anyways uh today we're going to be talking about css or extracting our css from the bundle.js so if you don't know which you should know is that our style is actually inside of this bundle.js, which is a bad thing. The reason why is because when the page loads, it loads the CSS first and then goes all the way down, trickles down, and then JS is last, correct? We all know this. The thing is now that now that our CSS is in this bundle.js, it's going to be loading at the very last when the JS loads, which is going to make our page look horrible 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 customer or user experience because the first initial uh page you're gonna just see you know ugly an ugly page without css and then you're gonna get the updated version of css we don't want that we actually want to link our css so that way when it does load at least we get our css and makes it looks nice right so what we're going to be focusing on this video is extracting that stuff from the the CSS from bundle.js and then linking it inside of our index.html. And the tool to do that is actually called mini CSS extract plugin. It's actually a plugin, obviously. So yarn add. you already knew I was going to do this, man. You already knew I was going to do this. And it, the, the library or the plugin is called mini CSS ex extract plugin. <clears throat> Let's actually, that went extremely fast. Let's see if it actually did load. It didn't even load. Oh, that's why. Two dashes for dev. There we go. And now we should see it. There it is. Awesome. So now we're going to be playing around. We're not going to be playing. We're going to be installing it in the common.js because I do want it to run inside of dev and um, prod. So let's do that. So right here, const, I'm going to say mini CSS, nope, extract, extract plugin. And this name is actually, if you look at the docs for this plugin, and this is what they're commonly using. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to be using, we're going to say that equal to require. Why did I do that? Damn it. There it is. So inside this uh, plugin library, actually, we have a loader. So that's exactly what we're going to be using. So in here, we're going to just add in another loader. And that's literally called mini.cs, whatever, dot loader. That is it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Down here, under the mod modules, uh, down here we're gonna actually add another property. Let me actually put a comma in there, and it's called plugins. Plugins, and we no, it's, it's supposed to be an array, and we do need to make a new instance of this uh, plugin or the tool or the library we're using. So new uh, mini. Uh, CSS extract plugin and inside of this you could actually add some options there's options that you could do but the only option that I want to do is actually the file name now the file name takes in the string it's going to be a string and it actually says what what do you want the file name to be I want my file name to be style dot CSS that is it that is it <clears throat> and the next things we're going to be doing we're not done yet we I want to make it where okay so if you don't know this yet, you should know this. I always say this, but when you're running in dev server, when you're running this, this application in the dev server, when you're trying to do the CSS and where the CSS is actually located is actually going to give you one big style that CSS sheet. So we can actually prove this. Okay. It might give me an error, but it might not. So let's actually do it. Let's, let's do a yarn run dev server and I'll, I'll i'm gonna try to pr prove my point let's see yeah i'm gonna get some errors yep 
Oh, path. Oh, in the last video, I didn't even do that. In our dev, we're using path right here, and now I don't even have that. So control save. Now we do it. And you should get your uh, application. Oh, we get some errors. Yeah, okay. We're getting errors. And the reason why is because, yeah, the Mini CSS Extract plugin. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to get some errors. All right, so we can't do it just yet. But just take my word that right now, if you did run the dev uh, server, uh, the CSS, if you try to look up the CSS or where the CSS is actually coming from, you're going to get one just one style sheet. And it's going to say line some ridiculous number like 2,357. And you know, you know that you do not have a one style sheet that has 2,000 or 3,000 lines of CSS. Um, so what we want to do is actually uh, do source maps on our CSS. By the way, we don't need style loader no more. The reason why we don't need it is because style loader was basically just doing inline styles, which we're not going to be doing no more. Uh, this mini CSS actually gives us a file, so that way we could uh, link it in our index.html. So we don't need that style loader, so you just get rid of it. But right here, we are going to be changing this kind of stuff. We are still going to be using CSS loader and SAS loader. It's just going to be written a different way. So it's actually going to be an object, and we're going to just say loader. Loader is going to be our CSS loader, and then comma, and then we need want, we want options. And in here, this is where we're going to put source map. So source map, nope, map is going to be set to true. And this is going to give us, uh, for our dev and production, obviously production, but for our dev at least, it's going to tell us exactly where the CSS is coming from, what uh, file it's coming from. I'm going to do the exact same thing for our, for the, um, for the SAS loader. So right here, I'm just copy this, put it right here. It's not CSS, it's actually SAS loader. And then control save this. Now, what we need to do is go in inside of index.html and actually um, link it or link our styles. So link style sheet, yes, type or href is going to be inside the styles. Oh, we haven't, don't worry, we just, just do it, styles dot CSS and we could actually add a type in so it's going to be text dash CSS control save this now let's actually do one thing we're gonna actually no do yarn run build we're gonna build our prod our production uh, application let's see if this actually goes as planned Let's see, it's gonna take a while. Yes, and it looks like everything went to place. You can see right here that we do have some new files inside of here, which one of them is style. It's actually style, not styles. Yeah, style, not styles. <clears throat> and we actually shaved off a little bit on our bundle.jst. Uh, I think in the last video it was like 700 and something. Now it's 686. And we actually get another file, style.css, which is 14, which isn't. It's not, it's, it's awesome. It's good. There, it's giving us a green. All right. So it's saying that it's good. So now if we actually do yarn serve, run serve, we could actually see our styles or our application right here, which is pretty awesome. What do you think? What do you think? It's pretty cool. I know. It's pretty cool. Obviously, I haven't even styled it. I hope you did style it the way you wanted to, and you should be seeing your styles. I haven't styled it and whatsoever, and I'm not going to style it because I want to leave this for the public to use, so that way I'm going to use it in my GitHub, you know, and people could, like, fork it or clone it, whatever, and install it on their own. So, yeah, we have that going on. And guys, that is it for this video. I hope you learned something in this video. It was super quick. I just wanted to do a CSS and dump it. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Obviously, it's best practice to do this. Link it, linking your style sheet inside of here, okay? So that way you know exactly what's going on, right? Look at this, God. 
If we, let me see. If we do view, toggle wrap. No, sorry. View, toggle. Let's do that again. And then I do have a plugin. Um, beautify file. What's our file? So, look at that. One thousand seventy lines of CSS. Around one thousand because we got these empty spaces. But anyways, guys, guys, guys. That was it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, I hope you learned something. Please, if you liked the video, please subscribe. Consider subscribing at least. Uh, leave a comment down below on what I could have done better or what I should be doing. And leave a like on this video of if you learned something new. By the way, guys, I did stop doing the testing unit videos for now anyways. Some people might want it. Most people don't really want that or really aren't really interested in that videos or that series of videos. So I'm just going to leave that to the end once I'm done with my with the whole react series. Once I'm done with the whole react series, I'll start getting into jest and like I've already done it in my other videos or no dot js videos, but I use mocha with jest. But yeah, just just know that uh, I didn't give up on doing the jest videos or the testing unit videos. I'm just leaving it toward the end of the series for React. That's it. Um, so thanks for your patience and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.